We just got done eating. What are we at? Southern Pancake House? We ate at Southern Pancake House. And it was okay. It was okay. I had a season of grease myself. <laughs> and the pancakes was okay. Um, they had, I got a fruit bowl too. And I guess it had some good fruit in it. But the watermelon was kind of not, I don't think it was fresh or it wasn't as sweet as it could have been. But it had watermelon, red grapes, green grapes. Cantaloupe. I don't care for cantaloupe, but that's not their fault. And um, yeah, I like the grapes. The grapes were good. The pancakes were straight. And um, once I season the grapes, the grapes were good. <laughs> How was your meal? It was good. What did you all have in it? Bacon, sausage, mushrooms, peppers, ham. A little bit of everything. You hit the mother load. I mean, I you had hit grits. anything. That's what I ordered. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, mean? so. I right. just find that I'm like, it was on the menu. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, so you had grits and toast with that. That was it, right? Yeah. Ooh. And you thought the grits was good. Yeah. They just tasted. They didn't have no flavor. You know, they weren't kicking no flavor in my ear, you know? They need to be kicking flavor in your ear, you know? Since you gotta have butter on everything, that's why. Butter make it taste better, that's what they hear say. Butter make it taste better, butter make it taste better, you know? <laughs> butter also stuck your heart too. I don't put butter on everything. And that little She puts butter on 99% of every white. Like, Anyway, we are heading to Broadway at the beach because we are going to go to the aquarium. Our Airbnb host has um, seasonal passes, so he lets his Airbnb stayers. What is a company? Airbnb guests use his passes, so that's one of those things we have to pay for. So much brownie, brownie for my brownie. I want to put brownie in it. You are my brownie. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, this is my brownie. You can put a top over if you wanted to. No. Okay, guys, quick update. We took like a two hour long nap after we came from the aquarium. And we're also supposed to take like an hour nap. So, yeah, but we're going to get food now at what is it called? Beach Walk? No, you don't want to tell me. Beach. Beach House Bar and Grill. It's on Ocean Boulevard, I believe. What says it has a view of Ocean Boulevard. Whatever. So we are on the way there now. Probably eat, walk around the boardwalk, see what is popping over there. And yeah, you'll see what happens.
Hey guys, so just to share a little anecdote about our last night at Myrtle Beach. So we basically finished that night doing those um, amusement activities at the Funplex. Um, the Funplex itself only had like five or six rides. One of them 
was at least just for kids. Um, and then there was like a slingshot, like a block or two over, and like I think it was another ride, and then the sky wheel was about a block or two over as well. Um, but we didn't do any of those activities, but there are quite a few rides and things that you can do if you are looking for a little adrenaline rush or a little boost, you know? So we did those rides. Um, I ain't gonna lie, some of them was a little ranky dank, little janky, but um, I mean, overall, it was pretty fun. We spent $35 to get a wristband, and I mean, if you ride, I rode every ride. I rode every, I rode five rides, and two of the rides I rode twice, I think. So, if you ride every ride, like, twice, or, you know, it, $35 might, might get you your bang for your buck. You know, that just depends on you, okay? So, um, yeah, um, the next day I did wake up a little sore and bruised because like I said, the rides were a little janky and they do sling you around um, in a little more aggressive way than one would appreciate. So I was a little sore for about two days actually. Um, and we didn't do that Saturday night, we did that Sunday night. So yeah, I was a little bit sore. And, um, but yeah, then we came back Monday, which was Labor Day and that was that um yeah overall it was a good time in Myrtle Beach there are a lot of things to do if you're just trying to like do fun things if you're trying to club or something not really um but yeah so that will conclude the end of this vlog and I will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching appreciate it appreciate it appreciate it hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and I will see you guys in my next one Thank you.